disputes of interest have become the focus of heavy scrutiny by advocates in the Free Britney movement. He served as the district attorney when the negotiations started for Jeffrey Epstein's infamous sweetheart deal and was accused of taking bribes from Scott Rothstein, who is currently incarcerated for running one of the largest Ponzi schemes in history. Christ was so close to Rothstein that he often frequented his home and attended his 2008 wedding at the Versace mansion. Lou Pearlman was the manager for boy bands NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, notorious for accusations from young men who claim he molested them or sought to exchange sex to help with their careers. He was accused of forcing the young performers to work long hours with rehearsals up to eight hours straight in poor conditions, paying each member of NSYNC only $10,000 after two years of grueling work and 10 million records sold, far below minimum wage. Some light at the end of a long, dark tunnel for investors who were scammed by boy band legend and Ponzi schemer Lou Pearlman. In 2006, investigators discovered Pearlman had defrauded investors out of more than $1 billion. Charlie Crist was accused of delaying and interfering with investigations into Perlman when he was Florida Attorney General. Why is this guy, who's the Attorney General, not interested in this huge scam with thousands of victims? For years, Charlie Crist had all the power needed to stop the horrific exploitation and abuse of countless victims. But he did nothing. It is no wonder that the Free Britney bill is a complete and utter sham. Designed only to deflect from the powerful criminals who trafficked Britney Spears into a life of forced servitude for nearly two decades.